tropical moisture coming up from Ada, which is currently over South America now. But look at that moisture fetch stretching all the way here across the Atlantic on into the North Atlantic as well, too. Fortunately, Ada is the only thing out there we have to watch. Winds are down to 60 as it continues to weaken significantly over parts of Central America here and will work its way over Nicaragua, Honduras, heading to Guatemala and Belize. And notice once it gets up toward Belize, it starts getting pulled back to the northeast, back over the water. It could become a subtropical or tropical depression there. Then a tropical storm heading to Cuba and then turning north toward Florida as we head into Sunday into Monday, where it could be impacted by a tropical system here uh, of whatever Ada may or may not be. Now the question is how strong is it going to be? It's going to be a hybrid system, part tropical, part not tropical. But notice here kind of meanders across the southeastern part of the Gulf of Mexico, and that's because there's fronts coming on into the area there, helping to kind of keep it there. Another vantage point you can see over top of Central America here, working its way back into the Caribbean, heading toward Cuba, and then kind of heading on in toward the Florida Straits, and then here on into the southeastern part of the Gulf of Mexico as we head into much of next week. So we're going to be talking about this one for a while. Right now, not a concern to Louisiana, but definitely something worth keeping an eye on. So today, tomorrow and Friday looking good. Mid 70s, a few more clouds start tomorrow and Friday. Over the weekend, there's that chance of rain with that moisture coming from Ada, but not it itself. And then as we get to next week, really warm, humid weather. Highs in the 80s, which is a small chance for rain during the day, Monday and Tuesday.